The other day, uh, a friend of mine, this guy Alton, called me. And wanted to borrow some table. Alton Brown. And I said, well, what, what do you need tables for? He said, well, last week there was a, a, we found a body laying face down on a, in Jordan Park. Uh, somebody shot and killed him. Yeah, and so the family lived across the street. And so, you know, they needed some tables. And people are coming over and all that. So I said, uh, oh, well, okay. So I got some tables and uh, took it over to him down on the south side. Met with the mom, the sister, the cousin and all that, you know, just gave my condolences, you know, prayed with them. And, and uh, I met two young men over there. One was 18, the other one was 19. Really nice guys. I looked at this one guy and I just kept staring at him. I said, I don't know you. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I think I know you. We've seen each other somewhere. And, uh, and so we got to talking and all that. Really sweet guy. You know, matter of fact, I, I probably should have, uh, if I first got up earlier, I was going to uh, invite them to breakfast one day, these two guys. You know, I had to go down there and get them. It kind of really sparked something in my heart uh, when I went there the other day is that, you know, our preconceived ideas that we have uh, of people, places, communities. And we went, uh, you know, went over there and, uh, and these young men, you know, uh, one just graduated, he's looking to go to college. And uh, the other young man, uh, he had a couple of uh, 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 points of the, what, 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 uh, a couple of things he, he didn't get, you know, semester or uh, semester, whatever. But he's going to do that once he goes to college and that, you know. And it was so uh, credit, uh, huh? credit, right? Credit. Yeah, credit. And uh, it was so good to just to uh, talk to these young men and and, and just to think that uh, you know the uh, uh, preconceived ideas of people and communities and places and. Uh, that, you know, when you go fishing and you go into a big pond and you don't know what you're going to grab. And it was so cool because... Uh, oh, what's going to grab just, you? Uh, and I was just you know, I was thinking about how many uh, uh, people are out there yet that uh, that have uh, misconceived ideas of Christianity. You know, like this uh, lady uh, that was Christian and, uh, but yet, you know, how do you know? I mean, of this lady with the, the same song, you know, I mean, nobody was able to explain those things. You know, you kind of really wonder uh, and think about, why is that? You know, why is that? Why are those uh, things that are so minute are being gone over and people are not really uh, looking at them? You know, why is it that, that we hear and, and share the gospel or, or hear about what was uh, supposed to be done and we don't do it, you know? It's really interesting. I mean, these young men uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, got them in my head, you know, about having to go down and, uh, and, and find these young men. And that's not just over there. That's not you know, that's oh, just exactly a, a exclusive uh, or, or uh, the rest of the area because there's a lot of young men and women that really uh, need uh, help, you know. And that we have the opportunity just kind of this week over at the Dream Center over here uh, in Pinellas Park. Uh, I'll tell you what, man, the ministry there is just flourishing. Uh, people get saved every, every week and... Uh, uh, people are going in, because uh, Connie's doing the concert right now when I go in there, so I let her do the train. People go in there like like this. And there's one lady, man, she came, I was coming out with a big smile on her face. Man, I needed that, you know? And how many people need that? How, how many people need that uh, that encouragement of the word, the love? Who don't? You know? How many people need that? But yeah, you know, we're still walking around, 
a lot of people need that hope and uh and, and, and let them know. I was going to ask a question today. Well, what's better, hope or grace? What's, what, what's better? Which one would you rather have, the hope or the grace? The grace. The grace. The grace. They go hand in hand. They do go yeah. hand in hand. But yeah. If you got to choose between them, I'd yeah. rather have the grace. Oh, the grace. Because I'm going to screw up. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. One for grace, none of us would That's have right. That's right. We wouldn't have hope without That's the grace. Thing. You wouldn't have yeah. hope. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think to have hope. Yeah. We know that. Yes. We know that. Now, you know how many people that don't know that? How many people are riding in your, in your car like those Christians that don't know, they don't really know the, uh, uh, the difference? The word. You know, we need, we got to have a hope that something is going to be done. You know, the things are going to get better, or, or you got to have hope, expectation. And then once you, you have that hope, then the grace, and you understand who the hope is, and the hope is Christ. Mm -hmm. And then when you understand that, then you understand the grace. You know, because the, uh, the, the grace gives us the hope. A lot of people don't understand that grace. Like you were saying, you know, uh, have, you, uh, have you told a lie? Maybe it was so, uh, so something, you know. And, you know, and people today, because of their thinking, uh, and maybe they don't know, well, you know, how can I be saved if I have these thoughts? You know, how can I, how can I be saved? How can I have that hope? And, and you know, and, and, uh, look what, uh, what's going on, you know, in my family and <coughs> the fights and the arguments and stuff like that, you know. How can I even be saved? How can I even be a, a Christian? Or the, the the thing is where people say, well, I, you know, this is a country that's based on uh, uh, Christian Judeo principles. This is a Christian country. So we think. So we think. Just because you call yourself a Christian doesn't make you a Christian. That's right. You know, because a lot of people don't know the, the, the basis of the Word of God. Okay. They go to church, but yet they don't, uh, they don't have an uh, understanding. They search, but yet they haven't found. And so, you know, you have a, a perfect ministry because uh, you got a captive audience. Exactly. <laughs> you know? You're not going to jump out of the car at 50 miles an hour. There you go. There you go. And yet, you know, you have an opportunity to share the gospel. You're in people's homes every day. You're in the attics fixing the electricity. And, and you have the opportunity to be able to tell people, you know, who God is. And every one of us has such a such a great opportunity to uh, to share the gospel, you know. And uh, uh, one of the things that, like, for example, like with my knees, you realize that, you know, you can't run like you used to run, do the things you used to do. So it kind of slows you up a little bit. T.D. Jakes uh, this week uh, helped me see a couple of things that I was kind of uh, kind of uh, uh, interested about. One, uh, and uh, uh, any of you guys know Jensen Franklin? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I, I watch Jensen Franklin every every Sunday, and uh, he has uh, two different channels in the morning, same same sermon. Well, it so happened I didn't see it Sunday, but I saw it Monday. And when I was watch, uh, watching uh, uh, about what it, the the message he he had on Sunday, and he was doing a teaching on the bitter waters tomorrow. And he was doing a teaching about when you, when the Israelites, or, uh, they were Egyptians, but the Israelites, when they left Egypt, uh, they, you know, hey, wow, well, man, we're doing really good. Really They're taking everything. Everybody's excited and all that, you know. Well, three days down the road, you know, they have no water. They have this. And they start moaning and complaining about, you know, oh, things were better. Why didn't you leave us where we're at? You know, we had, you know, we had, even though they were being beat and killed and whatever, taken advantage of, they would have rather have been in that than being delivered. And yet the cloud of God 
was right over them. And, 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 uh, so then they were going down the, down there, and they're complaining, moaning, and groaning. And you know what? I, and, and the whole thing was about uh, about that and, and the bitter waters. Uh, that uh, we have taken and we drunk the, uh, the complaining and, and, and bitching that we do about this person, this, that, whatever, or this pastor or this church or whatever. The, and you know, this person proves that you know. I mean, I, 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 if Elsie, if Elsie had a scroll, you ought to get a, 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 a scroll. And, all, and, and put on there all the names of the, uh, of the people that screwed him through business uh, and the people that he tried to help. They and, see and, it forgetfulness. Yeah, and, and every one of us have that. You know, in, in the business, within the church world, and within the family. And yet, you know, we all carry bitterness. I don't care how super uh, Christian you think you are. Uh, periodically, you have a a, 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 remind, a remembrance because you just got, got screwed again, you know. You know? And if it, and if you don't remember, your wife will mind you. Oh yeah. You know? <laughs> and so, but anyway, and I, I was listening. Like, this happened again. Yeah. And I was watching this where they stopped. Oh, we got water! Wow. So what do they do? They go to the pond and drink some of that bitter water. And how much time have we drank that bitter water of resentment, of bitterness, of hurt? You know, and I know that I, I uh, watched the whole thing and and uh, I had to repent and ask God to forgive me because uh, you know I, I I have a lot of I have a lot of issues. And I don't want you guys to be all one time, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> Stand in line. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, and, and, uh, and, and one of the uh, thoughts that I may have, or I have, not may, you get the may out, I have something, is that that bitter root of, of, of bitterness uh, uh, takes a root, takes a hold. And... Uh, and so and the example brings that to mind and, and this and that and and but yet we walk through life with these things, with these hurts, with pain, and uh, all these uh, things that have happened to us, our people that betrayed us, uh, they lied to us, uh, how the pastor this or the somebody in church didn't say hi to me on Sunday morning, you know? Or, uh, you know, you go to a, a, a deliver some parts and these guys become a real jerk over there, you know. So, you know, we have these rude of bitterness. And while I was watching that program, man, uh, at toward the end, man, he had an altar call right there on the island there. Man, I'm in my room, just a, a crying, uh, raising my arms and saying, God, forgive me for this and remove that root of bitterness, remove those things from my heart that prohibits me from doing the real work that you want me to do. Because periodically you, you become gunshot. You don't go to church, you don't trust this person, you don't help that. They're all the same. All those Puerto Ricans are the same, you know? All those Mexicans are the same. You know? They tell jokes at them. <laughs> but you know, and we have to, I don't know man, it's, it's, it's uh, we, don't, we can't get into that, that sea of uh, complacency. We can't live in that sea of complacency. And things are going good, the checkbook is good, the bills are paid, uh, you know, the, uh, everything is going okay. And then all of a sudden, you know, the uh, the rug is pulled out, and, uh, and, and but we forget those things. And I, for one, you know, when I saw that, I asked God to, uh, in tears and asking God to forgive me uh, for that, you know, for all the stuff that Elsie's done. The, you know, the, the answer is very really simple. In acting it is what's tough. We tend to hang on to it instead of giving it to Jesus and let, let it be taken care of because he already took it to the cross. But we hang on to it because of our carnal and to turn that over to Jesus is a tough thing for us to do. Yeah. You know, and it takes 
It takes being in the Word. It takes understanding the Gospel, understanding what Jesus says to let it go. And then He said, you know, the Word says we've got to get, tear that root of bitterness out. That's hard to do because guess what? It's easier for me to dislike you than it is to love you. I'm not going to do that. No, but it's, I have a choice. You know, yeah. if you've done something wrong, I, have to, I can continue to dislike you, and it makes it easier because then I don't have to forgive you and love you. That's, yeah. the, that's the key right there. Forgiveness and loving. Yeah. Especially forgiveness. Oh, most, yeah. most people will tell you, I don't want to feel bitter. I don't like the way I feel about yeah. myself after the bitterness that manifests itself. Right. But are you willing to forgive the person that's causing the bitterness? Well, and, they're the one that needs to change. And, That's yeah. our argument. Yeah. And, and we self-justify our righteous indignation. We say, well, I got a right to feel this way. because, And, and they really miss the understanding that the real true freedom comes from forgiveness. Not for the other person. For you. That's exactly when, right. you got to forgive them first. But then you got to forgive yourself for holding it. Yeah. And that, I think that's what I'm saying. That's the hardest thing for us is to forgive ourselves. We just don't feel like we're worthy. Well, you know, the, the enemy is constantly poking at your mind. Just when you, thought, you know, when, just when you thought that you have gotten rid of this whatever it is, and all of a sudden, God, you know, something happens, and boom, there it comes. That little burp comes up there. That, Oh, that taste you know, in my mouth. Yeah, that bad taste in my mouth. And uh, so those things constantly happen. But you know, it's like you say. You know, it, uh, we every every day, every day is a new day. Every day uh, uh, when we get up in the morning, you know, uh, when we say our Lord, our Lord's prayer, we, you know, forgive those who have trespassed against us. As you know, as it says, that we have to do that, and, and consciously, you know, consciously be able to do that. Because, you know, man, every one of us, uh, you know, you can tell, uh, every one of us have had battle scars of... Uh, there, uh, there it is, scars. Yeah. You heal, you know what I mean? If you love it, if you keep picking at it, you know, then that's what it is when somebody has done something against you. You know, I'm always reminded that, hey, if I don't forgive, I'm not forgiven. I need forgiveness. I know I do. You know what I mean? And for me personally, the easiest way i found to forgive anybody... It's impossible to start praying for somebody and not have forgiveness for them. And when you first start praying for them, I'll tell you, it ain't easy <laughs> yeah, to really mean it. You know what I mean? But as you persevere through it, then then you really get a heart for that person. And, and you can forgive them and move on no matter what the offense was, you know? Amen, amen. And you know what? Yeah. He, said it, he said it when, it, you know, the enemy keeps putting this stuff into your mind. Mm -hmm. We were talking about it in Bible class yesterday, and people fall back. Thank you. And, and I came up, I just realized it while I was sitting there, I said, you know, the enemy uses just one word, and he's used it since he spoke to Eve. But. Can you, you I can't do this. But you can't just bury it and pretend. No, you know, and I, I learned and that. They're always very ugly heads. Right. I, one of my first employers, uh, one of the guys directly underneath him that had charge over everyone, picked a fight with my with my brother. Okay. Now the guy was a little bit older than me. Okay. He was in his mid twenties. I think I was like twenty one. Is your little brother? Yeah, which is bigger than me now, but he yeah. wasn't then. And it was over the girl that my brother was going to marry. Okay, uh, he he got in his face and challenged challenged him right on the spot to, to beat him up. And I stood right in between him. Now this guy is my boss. I got right in between him and said, "We'll go right outside now." Da -da 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 -da. And we had some words. We didn't come to blows. But he had, he was a person with a bad attitude, and uh, it basically it caused problems with me at work because I did that, but it, you know, so I got kind of bitter towards him, so I just said, well, I'll just ignore it. I'll just walk away from this, ignore it, you know, whatever. Ten years later, I'm working at a different con company. I end up working with this guy's wife. She's at the other company, at the other company right? And in he comes, and I go, oh no, 
because I know right away, right up to me and started right on the spot. And after 10 years, you know, <laughs> it's like a, and, and I'm a Christian by this time, yeah. you know, <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, I want to lay him out right on the spot. <laughs> In love. <laughs> In love. I said, well, I, the Lord can forgive me a yeah, whole lot yeah. easier than yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, is easy I to ask for information. I had, to, I had to, I had to really examine myself at the time, and it had to deal with the area of forgiveness. But what helped though is that I liked his wife. She's a nice woman. I think that place closed. She was like the opposite, you know. <laughs> and uh, sign down. So. You know, so that uh, help you that help you hold back that right fist of fellowship, huh? <laughs> really, because then I'd have to deal with her too, yeah, and, right. and everybody else. But at the same time, I realized that hey, why am I having feelings after ten years like this? And that caused me to confront that and say, well, I need to forgive this guy. Yeah. You know, and and basically, I had a, well, I I had a situation that happened to me. Uh, uh, and I left uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, I lost my business. I lost my house. And all sorts of stuff. My daughter was about three, uh, maybe three years, four years old, and went off to live with my dad up in Columbia, South Carolina, which was, uh, you know, and this guy uh, screwed me. I forgot to ask him. And so I uh, did. All the time that I was there, I had this uh, in my mind, man, that I wanted a, I wanted to, uh, what was that? I don't know what was that. Uh, I wanted a kamikaze to do, you know. I mean, I planned it, man. I, I even, uh, you know, uh, fantasized, uh, you know, getting, getting a gun, not, not just a hand, but even a gun to shoot the guy. But while I was there, I, uh, two things happened. One of them, uh, I, 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 I read this book, How to Make Friends and Influence People, <laughs> and uh, I think that was one of the best books I've ever read in my life, and uh, I, I really uh, suggest, it, uh, suggest people to read that book, uh, because that book uh, really talks about, uh, you know, uh, really lays it out right, you know, and, and uh, uh, next to the Bible, that was, uh, that's, that was uh, one of the uh, most uh, thought out books. And it showed you how to, uh, where well, you're always blaming somebody, you know, it's your fault, your fault, your fault, you did this to me, you did that to me, and you will see what they're pointing back at you. But after I read that book and everything, and I, you know, I, 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 when I came back, did I have those same issues in my heart? Yeah, but you know what? What I learned through that is that when I first saw that guy, I, I saw him, and what I did, I went like this and shook his hand. Hey, how you doing? See, he had no clue what he did. Or if he did, I mean, he forgot about it a long time ago, whatever it was. But yet, I've been walking around carrying this hurt. This guy messed with me, he screwed me, he did this, he did that. And so all this uh, anger that's inside of you, uh, it, it, it's there. but you know he's he, he's going having a great time, a great having a great life, and, and but yet you walk around with all this bitterness and and hate. So the only one that's being hurt is you. And so that was so, you know. But it, it, sometimes you need to go back to some of those basic uh, basic things. Uh, you know, even the elementary things of the Word of God. And uh, you know, I thank God like uh, like. I, for what happened uh, in my knees, because God has a way to slow you down. Gets your attention. You know, He gets your attention. He says, you know, what are you doing? What do you want to do? Uh, you know, ministry, the church, Jesus Christ. You know, what, what do you call us to do? I mean, I, I, I'm I, I'm ecstatic uh, what God is doing over there. That's the center every day. People, are, uh, uh, people come through there, man. They come in there. They don't want to be there. They're, they don't want to fill those things on form. They don't want to do nothing. But when they leave, they leave with their spirit up, lifted up. Because all you're doing is giving them hope. And then once you give them that hope, you tell them about the grace of God. Why you should have that hope. And, you know, it's just uh, incredible. But I know that, like, for me, 
uh, learning to get rid of those bitterness and the hurts and stuff that, and that you know, they, uh, you may carry and stuff, you know. Who was was it Peter and Matthew that had the, the, the spat? And you often wonder, well, why would Peter be upset with Matthew? But Matthew was a tax collector, and they were known to take extra money when the, than what they were supposed to take, because that was the salary they made. Yeah. You know, anything above what the emperor or whatever was demanding. So, you know, but here's a case where you got two Christians that are at odds with each other over something that happened in and the past. sometimes it could be even be perceived and not even be able to be, you know, because Matthew, you know, was just as Peter was at the time, right? Right. So. Well, how many times, I mean, I'm, I'm going to pick on you because you're easy to pick on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind. You're a Christian man with a Christian business. I can't tell you how many people say, I would never, ever take my stuff to him. And I go, well, why? Because he, he's a Christian. And I get uh, shafted by him every, every time I go to one. And, and I'm like, <laughs> and that don't happen out there in the world, but they don't think that way. They just yeah. assume it. Yeah. We talk about assuming things yeah. automatically, you know. And uh, well, you, you, you know, the reason for that is because, well, you're a Christian. You're supposed to be giving better break. Oh, you're I get that all, all the time. That all the time I says, you know, well, well, God you know, sent me, he said you're going to fix my car for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah God sent me. So, <laughs> when you want to start on it, I said when God tells me. <laughs> when, when I had my body shop, I put an ad, and uh, I think it was uh, back in, uh, they had like this Christian uh, magazine or something, and, and I put an ad in there, you know, executive car craft, uh, you know, just a little fishy on there, and Christian, you know. So, uh, and then I when the like, shepherd's guy. My, yeah, my, yeah, the shepherd guy. Okay, yeah. And, and, and also I'm uh, getting these uh, calls on there. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to get my bus free, you know, and I'm from uh, painted and uh, blah, 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 and I'm from this and that. So, okay. Uh, okay, can you do it for free? I said, man, what does it say free on this? <laughs> no, I can't do it for free. Paint store don't give me the materials free. <laughs> and, and, and I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm back. I, I'm, I, I'm good for asking. I will ask. So the Lord says, you have not because you ask. I will ask. And through the grace of God, God has blessed us a lot. But there's times that, you know, you need to just back off and pay that person and give them more money than they need. So, but, you know, again, it's, it's, it's the little things, those, those, what does that say, the little things that stole the bunch, you know? And uh, the little boxes, you know? And it's the little things that that that, is, that kills you the little thing it's not the big thing you know i mean i i, I uh, you know i may have a, an issue uh, with my brother over here and uh, i don't care how big he is i need help i'll jump up there hit him so hard man <laughs> he, might, he might lay me down but you know what once you have that fight in the knees when you once you have that fight where you uh, uh, uh you, you you bust some skin you get up and you go out there, uh, you know, uh, this, is, this is back in the old days. And you go out there, get up and go to the, uh, go get, we'll get a drink. And it was done. It's done. You know, you, he whipped your butt, you, he whipped your blood. blood brothers. But you become both blood brothers. Shed, both shed blood. Yeah. <laughs> but you, and you get up and you become buzz, you know. And really, I had this situation where uh, I fought this guy. Uh, it was this gang and our people, blah blah blah. And, and when we're fighting, change blades, baseball bats. Yeah, and, and then the police came, and him and I walking down the street like this, and and our our group became good friends after this, you know. But uh, the uh, and, but, but that's okay. I could deal with that, man. Come on, let's go outside and take care of it. But it's those things, those words. You know, sticks and stones will, uh, will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's a lie. Yeah. That's a lie from to hell. And, and it happens every day. The words leave and, emotional and, and scars. That, and that's where we keep those scars inside of us. And, and the scar, no, it's just a scar. No, no, it's a bump there. It used to be nice game, but there's a bump there. And you feel those scars. And that's why, you know, like with this about, you know, asking God to remove the, the root of bitterness that it's in your heart, you know, Lord, let me love that brother. 
uh, I heard a story that this lady, that uh, uh, this kid, uh, killed her, her only son, her only son. And a year later, this lady went to the jail to see this young man that killed her son. And, and that lady says, I forgive you. And that young man started to cry. He says, you are the only one who's ever come to visit me. And that lady, built, they built a relationship, and when he got out of jail, she took him in. You know? And, uh, and, and he's, uh, he goes and speaks in different places about the grace of the Lord of God and, and, the, uh, uh, and the redemption of, of what happened on the cross through the blood of Christ. And uh, so many young people out there, so many people need that. They need that embracement. They need that, that love, you know? I mean, when they start telling jokes about Puerto Ricans and stuff, you know, <laughs> that doesn't hurt, you know. <laughs> Please, thanks for us. Dear Lord, we thank you for bringing us together this morning. Be with each of us today, this week, as we go and spread the word of Jesus. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.